They can still do it. But there's a win for number 25. Nick O'Donnell in first place. Nick Saunders gets second. Ron Waters just takes third. And Ben Duke gets fourth. We're off then with the 250cc race in this afternoon. It's the first race in the afternoon at the moment. And this is my day five, is it? The confidence is screaming into the lead there. And they're confusing me with these blue overalls. It's Philip Sims that's now in front. With 71, Arthur Living is in second place. Mark Giles trying to cut up the inside to take second from third. Mark Giles, Arthur Living. Philip Sims on a nice tight line round there. Doesn't seem quite so slippery on the inside line. Philip Sims, Mark Giles, Brian Cornelius, Arthur Living.
John Gibbons, Paul Steibritz.
188, Terry Fashel from 226, Neil Cast from Bob Heath. And a right scrap going on there.
Mitchell in second place, Chris Clinton there in third, Malcolm Smith in fourth.
Ice Theatre got there first from Jerry Adams in second place. Problems seen through these rain spattered windows, but it's 17. Dave Steer that comes round there from Richard Chandler in second place. No, Jerry Adams just gets back into second. Richard Chandler in third. Richard Moore there holding fourth place. Richard Moore, ex Bramble's rider. Bringing up the rear splutter and coffee on his machine. Dave Steer then, still in front from Jerry Adams, from Richard Chandler, Richard Moore. Harry Ross certainly not got that thing running right yet. Nothing to work with the way that one goes though. Dave Steer starts his last lap. Ahead of 55, Jerry Adams, 16, Richard Chandler. Richard Moore still holding on the board. And Harry Ross drifts a little bit wide, gets met by Dave Steer on that nice tight line. The win there for Dave Steer, who nearly lost his passenger as he came over the line. In second place, Jerry Adams, number 55. In third place, Number 16, Richard Chandler. Christian Bennett making a little scintillating start and into that first turn first from Rob Cameron there in second place. George Penfold seems to go past the bottom of them and then falls back in behind them all. But, uh, Rob Cameron is certainly made the most of that. Jason Steer there in third, he would have been in fourth. Nico Donald in fifth. Unlucky to be leading and dropping it there. 
But the one good thing with the man at the start of his career is there's always plenty of time left. So the pile is clear there. Go there, Mark. Steve King comes across the line for a win. Jason Jennett takes second. Brock Williams takes third. Gideon fifth in fourth. After a spell, Colin Osborne in fifth. We're going to get the result of race 13 after this. Race number 14. Race 14 is underway and they're all on their way round. Entering the first turn. Powering his way out of it. It looks like number 49. John Pelch in the lead. 118 Bill Sims in second. 71 Arthur Living in third. John Pelch is in his lead. Coming round there very, very hard. Bill Sims in second half, and Livings number 71 in third. Dean Norton in fourth, Robin Belcher in fifth. Looks a bit like Ernie. Not 
251 John Arnold, Mark Souter, bringing up the rear. You could have put a pocket handkerchief over them for me, would have covered a lot of them. No one at harm, I've got the bit between his teeth and going places with Paul Smith in second, John Wilson in third.
16. Oof, bit of a shut there into that corner. Good Jerry Adams takes up the running. Richard Chalmers drifts back into second place. Spin round the turn for River is passing down. He spins it. Jerry Adams is going the wrong way. He's decided to go left handed. 87, Richard Jenner again finds himself in front. 151, Mick Cameron now in second and Tim Bennett up to third. With Richard Chandler, our early leader on the centre green and Kerry Adams pushed off to the out. So Bob Adams off the finish. Still rather slippery up on that turn. It's drying out down the bottom, but up there it does seem to be a bit slippery. 87, Richard Jenner, 151, Mick Cameron and number 12, Tim Bennett. Come around this turn, they're very close together. Richard Jenner's got it all wound up. Mick Cameron's trying hard on the outside. There's just one lap remaining in this battle to see who can do the business in this one. Tim Bennett's holding third. Jerry Adams comes back into the field.
So, Matthew Lewin takes up the running. George Benfold finds himself suddenly in second position. And, Bill's in there as a, as I said, they go the corner and he's 
gone down on the dry bit. So is John Pilcher. Struggling with his machine. Leads it up to Mark Giles to take up the running. On a very tight line out of that turn. Starts his last lap ahead of 165, Jason Jennett in second. 101, Tim Taylor there in third. Phil Sims remounted and going again. 49, John Pelcher remounted, going again. All sideways and then Dean Norton with a little bit of trouble. So Mark Giles, he's out in front. Take the checkered flag. It's the winner number 26, Mark Giles from 165. Jason Jennett in second. Phil Sims up to third. Four. Back to the left hand side cars. Not the line they go, down that side straight. Right. The camera's not set to the start. Big camera at Graham Hilton. Tony Penfold in second, and then Dave Souter, and then number 142, Paul Chapman. Big Cameron it is then, from Tony Penfold in second. Dave Souter still holding on to third with his big Norton outfit. And 142. Paul Chapman bringing up the rear of the So the last lap flag goes. It's 151. Mick Cameron. Tom 25. Tony Penfold. And look at these two doing battle on the last position here. Number 8 and number 142 seem to cross the line simultaneously. Mick with a nice well, they come in very, very fast indeed. Mike Cameron takes the win. 25, Tony Penfold comes out across in second. And look at his battle going on for third. Not quite sure what's going to happen here. But it looks like it's going to be 142 takes third place. And number eight crosses the line in fourth. Make a nice picture of all that lot coming around there together, wouldn't it? 188, Terry Paschal, 226, Neil Cuff, 251, John Arnott, then Brian Holland, young Tom Penfold. They're all in there somewhere. So, get it all wound up with a bit between his teeth. Full clear of the rest of the pack. 188, Terry Paschal from 108, Bob Miles, 222, sorry, 226, Neil Carr, 27, Brian Holler, 620. Really giving it a gun, starting his last lap, Terry Paschal got this one all his own way from Bob Miles in second. Neil Cuff in third.
John Cook and Malcolm Smith. Robin Pilcher, Paul Steinberg, Dennis Hodgson. Fast and furious again. Their track really drying out now. Conditions are becoming very, very superb. By the time we get to the finals, we have perfect conditions. Round they come, round that last third. The second flag inside. It's number 12. Two attempts in it wins. One, two, one, and a half are in second. Superb line up in this one with 17, Dave Steele already have been one races this afternoon, 37 Matthew Lewin, 2 Neville Penfold, 55 Sherry Adams, number 10 Richard Moore and number 32 Kevin Simmons. And a big wheelie and oh dear, Dave Steele has lost it, left his passenger behind and spun round in the middle. But the race continues. that machine, wondering whether he can actually continue with it or not. 55, Jerry Adams, he's coming round there very fast indeed, with Neville Penfold in second place, Kevin Simmons up into third, Matthew Lewin in fourth, Richard Moore in fifth. So very, very fast they're coming round there, Dave Steer is not in the lead, although it might look like it. 55, Jerry Adams it is that's winning with number two, Neville Penfold holding on to second place. They're coming around there very fast now. Ignore Dave Steer, he is a lap in arrears. 55, Jerry Adams there, he's winning. Neville Penfold goes out with problems. Kevin Simmons goes up for second, Matthew Lewin in third. Richard Jenner, Harry Ross, and Richard Jenner. 
Santa. Jump 
Yorkshire leads the finals, Bruce King there in second place, Brian Cornelius in third, Bill Sims in fifth, fourth and over. And they continue their way around there, Jimmy Jones has certainly got the wicket when he's been to the and he's going to goal. He's picked up in one of those earlier heats, but the track has tried out, he's going like a good one now. He's 49, John Pelcher, he's 66, Steve King, 48, Brian Cornelius, 118, Bill Sims. Five laps went very fast, this one to go even quicker. Starting the last lap. 
Bobby Bus, Bob Miles in the lead. John Fish in second. Tony Penfold struggling down in third. Trying to go down the outside. He's doing it in second. Now I'm on third for John Fish. Four time, barring a mishap, it's going to be Bob Miles that'll get there first. John Fish struggling to keep the chair down. Tony Penfold comes up on the inside. It's a big man dash to the line. And who's going to get it? Yes, Tony Penfold takes it from John. And he's got well clear and he's going for gold already. And it's 38 for Summerhill in second place. Chris Stratton's there, Alan Harmer there, Duncan Pollard, Steve Wilson. They're all in there somewhere and they're all going for it. Cameron. 
look at that sidecar, where did Dave steer? Done very, very well to get that thing across that line in third position. I think he done well to get it round there at all.